Hey everyone welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to create Metal Glossy Logo Animation Inside After Effect Let's get started. Create a new composition. Call Metal Glossy Logo Animation. Set resolution 1920 by 1080 and frame rate to 60. Also set the duration of the timeline 10 seconds long. Drag the logo file. Inside this composition, press S for scale property. And adjust logo layer. According to your logo size, Adding a little bit curve effect on this logo layer. Something like that. Select logo layer. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus C for pre-composed called logo. Click on the move all attributes. Create a new solid layer called map. Apply Fractal Noise effect on this solid layer. Change the contrast value to 80. Brightness value to minus 20. Complexity value to 1. Uncheck the uniform shading. And change the scale height to 600. Adding a keyframe on offset turbulence. Make sure you are in first frame in the timeline. Click on the stopwatch icon of the offset turbulence. Then go all the way to 10 seconds in the timeline. And change the position of the offset turbulence like that. Press Ctrl plus Shift plus C for pre-composed. Called Map. Click on the Move All Attributes. Drag this map composition. Below to Logo Composition. Change the truck mat of the map layer to alpha mat. Now apply CC glass effect on this map composition. Go to effect and presets. Search CC glass. Apply it. Click on the surface. Change bump map to logo. Change softness value to 45. Height value to 100. And displacement value to minus 100. Go to light change the light height to 100. Then click shading. Change the metal value to 20. Apply CC blobby lies effect. Change the blob layer to logo. Softness value to 60. Cut away value to 0. And metal value to 0. Select both these compositions and pre-compose them. Called Logo with Glossy. Drag Texture Image. Below to the Logo with Glossy composition. In the main comp. Press S for Scale property, and scale it down like that. And pre-compose this texture layer called Background. Go to Effect and Preset. Search Brightness and Contrast. Apply it on background composition. Change the brightness value to minus 10 and contrast value to 100. Select logo with glossy composition. Add a drop shadow effect on this. Change opacity to 100. And distance to 0. Softness value to 100. Duplicate this effect. By pressing Ctrl plus D. And change the opacity value to 80. Create an adjustment layer for the effects. Go to Effect and Preset. Search CC Vignette. Set Amount Value to 300. Adding some noise effect. Now apply Curves effect. Then adjust the curves like that. 
Again, go to Effects. Search Camera Lens Blur. Also search Transform Effect. Adding keyframes. Make sure you are in the first frame in the timeline. Click the stopwatch icon on the radius, scale and opacity. Select adjustment layer. Press U. To reveal the keyframes. Change the value of blur radius to 16. And opacity value to 50. Then move forward to 2 seconds. In the timeline. Then change the blur radius to 0 and opacity value to 100 and scale value to 110 again, move all the way to 10 seconds and change the scale value to 120 select all the keyframes and press F9 then go to graph editor adjusting all these graphs something like that Now go inside logo with glossy composition. Then drag the logo composition in logo with glossy comp. Change the map layer mode to hard light. Press T for opacity. Set the opacity value to 50. Select map and logo layer. Press Ctrl plus D to duplicate. Add a linear wipe effect on bottom logo compositions. Make sure you are at 2 seconds in the timeline. Change wipe angle to minus 90. Transitions value to 70. And feather value to 80. Then move forward at 3 seconds and change the transitions value to 0. Now go to the main comp. Create a new solid layer for the particles. Go to Effects and Presets. Search CC Particle System. And apply it. Change the birth rate value to 0.4. Longevity value to 2. Click Producer change the X and Y value to 100. In physics, velocity value to 0.1, gravity value to 0, go to particle, change particle type to faded sphere, change the color of the particles like that, change birth and death size to 0.1, size variation set to 100, also max opacity set to 100. Now adding logo text. Go inside the logo with glossy compositions. Select text tool from the toolbar then type logo title. Adjust the position of the text. With the help of a line window. Now press T. For the opacity. Adding keyframe of opacity something like that. Here is our final logo animation. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something new from this video. Please hit a like button. Your one single like makes me feel happy. See you in the next video.